everybody welcome back to my channel so today I am very 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 excited because as you know I am a Fenty fanatic and basically the queen has done it again Fenty has dropped a new product that I'm very 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 excited about because um, as you know we're in a pandemic <laughs> um, and I don't know about you guys but I personally have not been wearing a lot of uh, makeup because obviously we're wearing masks 24 7 I recently went back out to work and uh, I'm no longer working from home so I've been trying to find ways to go about the no makeup uh, makeup look and personally I've been finding it kind of hard because I'm either I'm wearing a full face or I'm wearing no face so it was really excited one day when I was just randomly scrolling through my Instagram feed um, and found out that Fenty would be dropping this new product and it is called the easy drop blurring skin tint uh, as soon as I saw this um, it was literally two days before it dropped and I was like I have to get this because I literally felt like this is a sign because I feel like whoever's on Fenty's team like they just know because one, we're in a pandemic, we're barely wearing any makeup, and two, we're kind of heading into spring where people don't really want to wear full coverage foundation, at least I don't. I'm really into skincare. Lately, I, I've never had like problem skin or anything like that, but because we're not really wearing a ton of makeup nowadays, I really want to prioritize uh, skincare, at least in my daily routine. So this is kind of how my skin is looking these days. I'm really happy. Yeah, normally this is kind of how I go to work. I'm also getting my lashes done again, which is so exciting. Um, so this is literally my everyday face, but sometimes you want a little extra oomph without doing the whole face. So I feel like this is just this is just amazing. I did a light swatch um, on my face uh, the other day when I, when I bought it home because obviously um, due to COVID restrictions, we can't uh, do swatches in store. I literally bought this the day it dropped. So it dropped about three days ago um, on Friday. And I literally picked it up um, Friday afternoon because I didn't want my shade to be gone, especially because I don't know what shade I am. So I wasn't sure if I had to buy multiple colors, but um, the lady um, at Sephora was really helpful and she was able to help me kind of figure out what my color would be. Um, and Fenty has made it really easy. Right now there's like a guy where you can kind of match your uh, foundation shade to your possible shade and skin tint. So normally my shade in the Fenty Beauty Foundation, at least the hydrating one, um, I am the shade 320. So um, according to the chart, um, I would be around um, 18 in this skin tint, which is what the sales rep at Sephora and I kind of figured out. It says that this is light to medium coverage for all skin tones, blends and blurs to instant perfection, light as air. So um, I'm really excited. You guys know I swear by anything Fenty. Um, I'm a little biased, but <laughs> we're gonna try this out and uh, yeah, see how it how it looks. I obviously already took this out of the package. As I mentioned to you guys, I had to swatch this on my face just to make sure I picked up the right color. Um, and I swatched a little bit on my cheek the first day I got it and it looked fine, um, but I didn't wanna do a full face until I filmed this because I wanted to give you guys a very honest review. I don't have anything on my face right now. Apparently this is supposed to be something like a tinted moisturizer um, according to Miss Riri herself so I'm really excited to see what this does for my skin. I'm going to just go ahead and put some primer on to start just so that there's a barrier between my skin and the skin tint. I always miss a spot whenever I'm blending in my primer. And I got a facial the other day, so my skin is just really, really happy right now. I'm also filming this in the natural sunlight so that we can see. I didn't put my, uh, I have my light set up, but I didn't put it on because I wanted to see the true finish and like the color of the, of the product. So yeah, so in Rihanna's video, like her tutorial, she just used her fingers to put this on. I'm gonna do like two pumps. Oh my gosh. And I feel like because the bottle is so small, I feel like you don't even need a lot of this product. So I'm just gonna put some random, <laughs> put some random pumps around my face. Um, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend this in. 
It, ha it kind of smells like the foundation. I love smelling my makeup. If you guys have seen my other makeup videos on my channel, you would know that I, um, yeah, because <laughs> I'm a weirdo. And if you haven't, then you're lame. <laughs> Kidding. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. So I am just using my finger to blend this in. And so far, I'm really liking the way it looks. I feel like it is buildable. Like if you want to put more on, it is. But for right now, like I said, I'm going for the no makeup makeup look. So I personally would not put any more than I, I put on. And then I like to put a little bit more on my upper lip just because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation around my lip. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on there. And I'm just gonna squirt a little bit onto my finger here oh my gosh. and just put a little bit more on here and I have like a very faint like beauty mark right here so that's kind of how I know um, how thick a foundation is if it covers that mark it's not really covering it which already shows me that this is very very light which I really really like <laughs> I am so corny I think I'm just happy to film a video especially because I'm in a different setup right now um, I have currently been in the process of remodeling my room, so um, eventually that video will come out. I'm just a perfectionist and I just want everything to be perfect. I just have a few finishing touches to kind of do on my room right now, but once those are all finished, I will give you guys a full room tour. I've seen in other girls' videos um, that they just kind of basically do the full face because, like I said, I bought this with the intention of doing a no makeup makeup look. I'm just going to put on um, some more concealer. This is like my favorite uh, concealer apart from the NARS um, Creamy Radiant, I think, or whatever it's called. Um, I love, love, love NARS concealer, but this is very, very close to it, the Instant Retouch Concealer. I have this one in the color 385, um, so one shade up from my uh, foundation shade, just because obviously I just like a little bit more of a lighter shade to highlight underneath my eye, um, but I honestly find that this concealer really complements my foundation because I do have warm um, undertones, um, which is also I sh something I should mention. The way that the um, skin tints are set up, um, it's kind of like the foundations where just because a number is uh, higher or lower doesn't mean that's going to be lighter or darker. It kind of just depends um, on the undertones. Um, obviously, they get darker as you go further down um, the spectrum, but um, a lot of the colors, like I think the shade um, under this one, I think that was like 19, had really neutral or peachy undertones, which is definitely not me. Um, I'm more of like, uh, I've, I definitely have more golden undertones, especially in the summertime uh, when I get a little bit of a tan. So this one has some orange undertones just like my foundation does. So um, yeah, I think it's a perfect match um, for me. So I think I'm probably gonna stick with the 18, but I'm just gonna put on a little bit of concealer and maybe just a little bit of blush. Um, just to give my face some color, but obviously with the mask, ain't nobody seeing the blush, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of concealer and yeah, I'll be back. All right, so um, I am back. All I did was just um, put some concealer on and um, just a little bit of blush. You can't really see it. It's literally this much, um, just because like I said, I don't want too much of a makeup look. I also added just the teeniest amount of uh, highlight. I don't even use highlighter anymore. Uh, does anybody really use highlighter anymore? I remember when that was such a big thing in like 2015 to like, 2018 I would say like highlighter was just yeah and it started to dwindle a little bit after like 2019 and and yeah after that but like I feel like anyways that's not the <laughs> we're not talking about highlighter right now <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of a wear test it is currently 2:53 in the afternoon so like maybe seven ish hours I should also like do a mass test too like put on my mask and see um, if she transfers a lot yeah maybe I'll do that too yeah yeah that's smart okay sorry I just had like a, <laughs> I just had like an epiphany I'm just gonna do a little bit of a wear test um, see how she holds up and then yeah I will check back in with you guys uh, in a little bit all 
All right, guys, so I am back. It is now 10.47 p.m., so I've had um, the product on for about eight hours now. Um, I think it was about uh, like about 10 to three that I completed my whole face. Um, so this is what I'm looking like. Um, as you can see, I am a little bit oily like in my T-zone, um, which is normally where I get oily. Um, I didn't put any powder on with the foundation um, or any like, uh, like finishing spray, so I didn't set it with anything. So I think that's also what's contributed to some of my oiliness here but all i did was put on some of my sephora um, finishing powder just lightly over uh, my face like i said i did buy this product with um, doing natural makeup looks in mind so um, i'm really happy with how it looks actually i don't mind the oiliness because um, i think that it just makes it a little bit more natural yeah i'm really liking how it came out um, and yeah, like it's not super cakey at all. Obviously, because I only did about four pumps, it basically came out exactly how um, I thought it would. If you're looking for something light coverage, this is definitely it. I'm going to rate it about um, like probably like a nine out of 10. I am seeing that kind of like blurring effect. The only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because I kind of was expecting it to be like completely blurring, but I think that's also just because I only did a few pumps. I didn't build it. Like I said before, I also did a little bit of a mask test. So um, obviously no makeup is mask proof um, because the mask is literally rubbing against your face. But um, I just wanted to show you guys kind of how much makeup came off on my mask. Um, so not a whole lot, a little bit of the makeup up in the nose here was already there from uh, previous time I wore this mask so um, I just wasn't able to get it out but as of right now this is kind of how she looks so not terrible but um, there wasn't a lot of transfer onto the mask aside from that so I'm, I'm really happy about that I do think in my honest opinion that they could have came out with a couple more darker shades just because I felt like there was a lot of variety with the lighter shades but not a whole bunch when it came to the um, the deep shades I think the way it goes is that they're supposed to be um, there's about 50 foundation shades but only 25 of the skin tint so it's supposed to be like uh, two shades per skin tint but I do feel like um, some of the darker shades there's not a whole lot of option um, for them as because they do go from different undertones I feel like uh, there, sh there could be a little bit more variety in the deeper tones and that's probably like the most feedback I can give other than that um, I'm pretty happy with the product. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys are new um, to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. It'd be great if you could smash that subscribe button and join my little growing family here on YouTube. I'm really trying to be a little bit more consistent. This is consistency for me. I'm definitely trying to obviously get to at least one video a week. That would be ideal. So if you guys wanna see any other uh, videos here on my channel that you haven't seen as yet, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be very, very open to hearing them, reading them, seeing them, whatever. <laughs> um, also, please don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you're notified every time that I post. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will definitely, definitely, definitely see you guys in my next one. Mwah! Bye, guys. <laughs>